In today's video, I'm going to talk about how to create a report using Home Manage. There's a couple ways to go about this. The easiest way is to simply, from the reporting menu here, select Generate Item Report. This command is going to bring up a window, and here you can specify which columns or fields appear in the report, what order they appear in, whether an image shows, and things like that. So, uh, first of all, you can have a report in portrait mode or landscape mode. Now, landscape mode is going to give me more room to fit all the columns. And since I since I want quite a few columns on this report, I'll just click on landscape. Now, I need to give it a name. I'll just call it my report. Uh, I want to show an image, so I just click on the show item image checkbox. Uh, now for the fields. Now, there's a couple fields I don't want in the report. So let me get rid of them first. Uh, I don't want uh, brand name, so I just select it and then click on this unselect button, model, unselect, location, and room. Uh, so I've got description and manufacturer number. I want the asset number. Now I can just uh, click on the asset number and select. Now to move it to a, the first position, I want it to be the first column after the image. So I just click on it and move up. So now it's the first position. Um, I want comments. I can also double click. So if I double click on comments, you can see it gets added. Uh, let me move it down a bit. Now, uh, current value. Date purchased. Move it down to the end. And status. Once status is the last field. Okay, so I've got the four the uh, fields uh, specified. It's going to show an image, and it's going to save it to myreport.lst. Now, what I can do here is uh, select create report and design, which is going to bring up what I've my um, specifications in the report designer. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and do that. If I select create report and close, it's just going to create the report with the name myreport.lst, and you can use it immediately. So I'm just going to click on create report and design. Uh, in most cases, you, you want to see you want to use this just to see if uh, your fields have been um, created correctly and the report looks good before you actually save it. Or you can make small, small changes, for example, font uh, font size and font font color and things like that. Anyways, um, that's in, pretty much an advanced topic for another video. So it looks good. Um, I've got. I've got kind of like a sample output here, the first line. Let me go ahead and save it. Exit. Close. Now I can run it by selecting reporting, output report using, using all data is going to use all the data in my program. I could also, if I just wanted to run the report on a, a particular location, I could just right mouse click and select. Uh, run report using. Um, let me just go ahead and use all the data. Uh, so I'm reporting, output report using all data. Now the report is right here as I'm sorting by date modified. Click open. It's going to bring up the uh, print options dialog as always. Let me just show a preview start. And so you're going to see a preview of what the report's going to look like before you print it out. Um, okay, well, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Take care and goodbye.